It's so great to see all of you here. This is, I think, the 10th year that we've done this. And I'd just like to uh, recognize Mr. Earl Tillman there. Mr. Earl, where are you? Just raise your hand there. Stand up. <laughs> Ten years ago, when we were looking around trying to find a place to uh, hold such an event, uh, Mr. Earl came forward and volunteered and a little bit of consternation about whether a uh, hot hanger on a warm summer day would be the best place to hold this. But uh, uh, the rest is history. We've had uh, 10 good years of this, and I'm just so happy to see all of you uh, here today and uh, being supported and we've got a good reason to be here and a lot of good candidates to support. Um, I have just uh, have been, been asked uh, by many of you, you know, some of the things that have been going on regarding uh, House Bill 766, which is a bill that I uh, authored last year, and some of the comments that we've heard this morning concerning uh, the need for, um, for this economy to pick up and to move forward. Well, one of the things that we've got to have in place is a skilled workforce, and House Bill 766 was the first step to rewrite the work-based learning laws or the uh, uh, youth apprenticeship program laws in our, our public schools. Uh, uh, an alarming statistic to me that I read in their own news a few months back. You know, when you take into consideration all of us that are on Social Security, and I'm about to be there in just a couple of days, but uh, when you take into consideration all of us that receive Social Security, all of those that receive some type of food stamp or some type of federal benefit, when you add those up, we're looking at 79% of our population that receives some type of benefit in that type. <clears throat> we only have 21% actually paying into the system, folks. That's an unsustainable model going forward. So House Bill 766 was just the first effort to rewrite those uh, uh, the work-based learning law, and I've been uh, working real hard over the past couple of uh, months since session was out, and we hope to have a follow-up bill here coming uh, in, in this next session, which will address some of the real issues that deal with getting 16 and 17-year-olds engaged and involved in the process of thinking what they need to do as far as work is concerned, and, 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 and looking forward and, and getting them to understand the value and the need for work. We've got to change those numbers and we're in some for some real trouble and we've got to have that quality workforce to attract those jobs so some of those things that I've been about uh, just uh, am here to support all these uh, uh, candidates that are running for these various positions so we have uh, so much at stake and we really need good solid conservatives in those offices and uh, just uh, thank you for being here today and, and want you to support them and I'm going to ask my uh, uh, colleague in the house uh, uh, Christian Coomer to uh, come forward. He represents District 14, part of Floyd County and uh, a portion of Bartow County. And I just uh, enjoyed uh, having the opportunity to work with him. He's been very helpful in uh, uh, helping me to uh, understand the ropes and getting me go going forward. And I, I just appreciate him so much. So uh, let's, let's hear from Christian. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 